Hey folks, Dub Life, episode unknown, 128, maybe? 129, 127? I think it's one of those numbers. And it is a Monday, a Monday, and uh, the body is tired. Uh, Natalie and I got up early. Uh, Kai was on spring break last week, so we got a little bit out of routine. Um, didn't film anything last week. I think the last episode you saw would have been going into spring break uh, that Saturday, and we tried to um, go to the uh, exhibit and see Kai's piece of art, which uh, we went back on Monday, and it was there. So here's a picture of her piece of art. Um, a spray can, and she had like a waterfall come out of it. It was, it was really, really beautiful. We're proud of her. She worked hard on that, so it was cool to see. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed seeing that. We did get there. Um, but then uh, the girls were kind of feeling a little bit under the weather uh, last week, so we didn't do a whole lot. Um, Kaya did watch uh, several musicals for the first time. We got to do as a family. Um, Phantom of the Opera, uh, Newsies, Annie, um, Hamilton, and then some of Love Never Dies, and then she's also read almost the whole Hunger Games trilogy, and she's read Divergent. Um, all of that during spring break last week. Uh, so proud of the kid. She's a uh, she's a smart girl, and um, she did a lot of good stuff. Uh, you know, stayed away from video games and the phone and computer and stuff like that, and rather did uh, some some other things. So it was nice to see. And we also built a bunch of Lego, and I'll show you some of that. Uh, so that was the last week. Not a lot uh, going on. Um, I think I did have a few other things come in. I had some Cobra Troopers or the Cobra Infantry come in from GameStop. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, I had Galadriel come in. I had Bellatrix Star Ace come in. So I guess I did have some things come in. Uh, so uh, we will at some point in this episode open up some new things. Um, definitely the AEW figures. Um, I don't know what else, but we're going to open those up uh, and uh, see what we go. We don't have a lot of plans this week, um, and I'm behind. Uh, I actually don't have any episode recorded. I'm recording this after you've watched that Easter episode, and I have nothing else recorded. We had a wonderful Easter. I uh, went to get to see my parents. Victoria really had a nice time, so uh, that was good. Uh, but so for this episode, uh, it is lunch break. I need to make a, a quick run. Um, to Walgreens to pick up some photos I'm having printed, and we'll go buy a Target while we're there. We'll see if they have anything we're interested in hunting for. Uh, probably not, but we'll at least check it out. Uh, and then, um, I don't know what else, to be honest with you. Uh, this Saturday, which will be next episode, not this episode, uh, we are going to go to South Carolina Comic Con in Greenville, South Carolina with David. Uh, we're doing that Saturday, so that'll be the next episode to look forward to. The episode after that, um, Victoria will be moving into her new house. She's been building a house over the past three or four months. And, uh, so that episode, we'll get to see Victoria's new home and, uh, her, uh, her collection update and some of that stuff and things we do together. And then the week after that, we will be on family vacation in Myrtle Beach. Uh, so those are the next three episodes after today's that'll be going on. So some things to look forward to if you're interested in that. Uh, but let me, do I have anything new to show you in here? I do not believe I do. Um, actually, yes, I do. So if you've been paying attention, uh, Dan Doherty and Beardo Comics, his Patreon, uh, for 20 bucks a month, you get a piece of commissioned artwork every month. And I have him, as I've talked about, doing the Iron Man Hall of Armor for me. But instead of Tony Stark, it is the Starks from Game of Thrones. So that's the Iron Man Mark I with Eddard Stark, the Iron Man Mark II with Catelyn Stark, and now we have the Iron Man Mark III with Rob Stark in it. There you see how I plan to display them after four more months. We'll have all those filled up, uh, and that's that's really exciting. And uh, Dan's doing such a good job. Certainly look, look him up, Beardo, B-E-A-R-D-O, comics on Patreon. If you're interested in that, it's a great value. Where else can you get original art for 20 bucks uh, that you can pick what he does? Uh, if you want any more information, certainly message me, and I'll help you uh, get in contact with Dan. So let me see what new Lego items we have. We have the Carrot House, uh, the Little Chick, that Brickhead Sheep. Uh, those are all things we've built recently. All of this was built recently, so it's the Iron Man Hall of Armor, as well as the add-on to the Hall of Armor, uh, Igor, the Hulkbuster, uh, Tony in a race car, uh, some AIM soldiers. That's a cool little set, a couple sets actually, three different sets down there. Uh, I don't think any of this is new. Oh, the, the burrow, the Weasley house, the burrow that is new. Uh, anything else up here? I think I've already shown you. 
um, all of this. I believe you've seen. Uh, we built Chicago. That's new down there, architecture set. And then Trafalgar Square right here, which is a really cool, a larger architecture set. We got London in front of it, but there is Trafalgar Square. So uh, that big space there will be for the the big Hogwarts, uh, which we'll probably get to that pretty soon. And then let's see what else we got. What else we got? Uh, I don't think anything new is in this case. Um, we did clean up the 4Ks and the steel books quite a bit. You see, I did get the Game of Thrones 4K in. Um, and I've got the Suicide Squad steel book. Um, the Birds of Prey is coming at some point. So these two, I think, were only released through Zavi in 4K. The Man of Steel and the Batman vs. Superman. And, and they're pretty expensive aftermarket. But if you know of 4K steel books for Man of Steel and Batman and Superman that were American released, let me know. We now have all the Star Wars 4K, which is nice. Uh, so, you know, that looks good, we think. And then uh, also the Lego flower bouquet and the Lego tulips. So you see this here, flowers on the table. It's all Lego, which is super cool. Uh, we really like those. And then the reason I'm going to Walgreens is we have this Lego picture frame here. And I want to get a picture to put in there. Uh, then this is next. This is the next thing. The ubiquitous diorama set, which we've talked about in the past. I've shown you some pictures from. Uh, the girls are excited for this because it's like freeform Lego. So uh, I think we can build at least three, maybe four different dioramas with three of these sets that all light up. I know I want some sort of tunnel set, and I know I want some sort of wall set. But then I don't know what else I want. Like, do I want this type of thing or that? I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Um, but that will happen at some point. We may start that a little bit in this video. That's where we are on the Lego and what have you. Uh, so let's take a, a quick hunt. We'll go to Walgreens. We'll go to Target. And uh, then the next thing we'll do after that is probably open up some AEW figures. Maybe that Super 7 Voltron. Some of that kind of stuff. And, uh, and see, see how the episode goes. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, you know, touch it. I actually told a fib, uh, show you the Lego that we have in here. So we've got Diagon Alley and the big Hogwarts there. Um, this is a lot of the modulars, uh, the Parisian, uh, bookstore, police shop. Uh, that's like the Lantern Festival. We got the Nintendo, uh, I got some Star Wars stuff down there, some of the helmets, um, the Hobbit stuff that we got. Uh, and then these are some space things. Natalie really likes NASA, so I've tried to get her some of the, that's the lunar module and the space station. I need to get her that new space shuttle, I think it's Discovery, that just recently came out. So we do have a lot of other Lego set to, to open up, um, but we just, you know, we're going to focus on that diorama. We don't have space for it yet. Let me show you, there's some Joes, so you got my little diorama island. At some point, I'm going to start taking pictures, like I said. So, real quick, there was one other item I forgot to show you. We built the bonsai tree, which is really cool with the cherry blossoms on it. That's such a nice set. I really like these kind of floral things. But what we're thinking about as I maneuver over here is for like a little mini Lego city, not a lot, just with the, some of the modulars and roads. We might put some floating shelves here, the way I have the porgs. Let me just rearrange this whole wall and put some put like a floating shelf like that so that we can have a Lego city there behind the sofa. Uh, something like that may be what we're doing. Um, this Hogwarts just stays here right now. You see, we don't even, we have many figures all over the place. We got to get it arranged uh, because it's it's actually a little bit wider um, than we anticipated with everything connected. So we don't have a good place for that at the moment. But uh, uh, one more Lego update. Oh, package. Now to the hunt. And I touch it and I rub it, then I squeeze it and I feel it. Hey, hey. Cause once you wash crack, yeah, you never go back. Say squeeze it, oh say squeeze it. Not the greatest concert, but concert nonetheless. In the car, on the way to Walgreens. That's all I got for you. That's all I, oh, safety.
I'm walking like I got a dump. My buttocks hurts. Ooh. Kickboxing and the gym were rough this morning. But we've arrived. Walgreens. Will they have anything I want? Let's see. Got that I don't want tan on my hands. If you're looking for that, this is where you can get it. Whatever this section is, like all of it is on sale. My goodness. Everything. That is a lot of yellow tags. Will they have G.I. Joe? That's the question. Will they have G.I. Joe? Moon pie? Ooh, a lemon moon pie. That's yucky. And the answer is, of course, no. They will not. But, of course, they've got Wasp. Everybody's favorite. Dino Thunder White Ranger. That Becky Lynch has been here a long time. Rockstar McNugget. What is this Lego? What are you? Oh, Minecraft. Spider-Man. Ghost Rider. Oh, it's kind of cool, actually. That Ghost Rider minifig. It's cool. It's not bad. Oopsies. Uh, what a minifigure. Do they have the Harry Potter ones? Lego movie. Oh, Disney minifigure. Hmm. And Batman movie minifigure. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think any of that is a thing that we have any need for, at least as of right now. What's over here? Galaga. No G.I. Joe. This is hidden. Jetfire. No oh, bending over. Same thing. Nothing back there. Well, feces McGee. On to Target. I did pick up my pictures though. It's Walgreens is really cheap with the digital picture prints and really convenient on the app. And like they're always on sale. I got 10 pictures, I think, and it was like $1.73. Really cheap. Uh, not that I do a lot with uh, physical pictures, but we do have some in the house. And uh, I haven't printed any of us, so I got some. Uh, we're here now, Target. I'm listening to this podcast in the red clay. In the red clay. In the red clay, in case you can't hear me. It's really good. It is about the Dixie Mafia, and specifically like a uh, hitman for the Dixie Mafia. The Dixie Mafia thing I didn't even know existed, but like an organized crime group in like the Appalachian region in like the 60s and 70s. And uh, it is set in a town just within 30 minutes of where we live. And uh, something I had no idea existed. Uh, worth listening to if you're interested in like true crime uh, and especially organized crime in, in the red clay C-L-A-Y just check it out let's see if Target has any anything we're looking for let's see here we are in the figure aisle as Seth would say 10% off Jurassic World toys a fair amount of Jurassic World toys for that so a fair amount what's back here Apex Fortnite Minecraft Black Series. Isn't this on sale? Yeah, $14.99 clearance. Poor Rio. Nobody wants Rio. Oh, that's the uh, I Have Spoken guy. Moff Gideon. Grief. I Have Spoken guy. Moff Gideon again. No. Grief again. Ghost Frank. He looks pretty good. Does anybody need a Jar Jar? $14.99? I don't need one. We got an Arras and Undertaker. A Million Dollar Man looks good. I don't need Million Dollar Man. Oh, Tatanka. Native American Tatanka. What's this? Oh, Nikolai Volkov. Huh. Miss Elizabeth, Miss Elizabeth. Miranda Rousey. I wonder what that Jar Jar rings up as. Let's see what's here. Tech Deck. People like, will they have G.I. Joe? Well, I mean, we know that answer is no. But one of these days, I'll see a G.I. Joe in a Target. Not today. Not today. What's up here? All those, whatever, SPD Rangers are. Stance. Barrett. Like the one that nobody has purchased. Starscream. The Bumblebee movie. Hot Rod looks cool. He does not look uh, 
that hot rod? 23? I ain't paying no 23. Looks cool, all right. Batman. 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 Joker. Playing Batman and Joker. For your viewing pleasure. Where did I put that? I'm just curious. See if that rings up cheaper than it says Marvel. Well, there's actually quite a few Marvel Legends. Uh, I like that. I got two of that figure. I like that figure. Peter B. Parker. I don't know. I ever buy Marvel Legend anymore, but I thought it'd be good for armies. Looks like maybe this whole wave is here. Perhaps. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. I believe so. I think it's all here. Maybe more than one. Oh, the whole wave. Poor Peter B. Parker. These little three and three quarter guys. You got a whole wave of those guys too. Looks like. Looks like it. Looks like it. And Big T. Nothing I collect. Nothing I collect. Let's see where. Where is the scanner? Where is the oh, Lego movie? What's this? Queen, whatever's build whatever box. Just a bunch of random stuff. Harry Potter. There's a scanner. I see a scanner. Oh, that one's just doing like circles. Wonder why. Let's see what charger rings up is. Boop. $14.99. What the thing says. It would have been like six bucks. Maybe I'd have got it. I don't know why. What's over here? Dollies. Lego dots. There's some Lego. I want to get that White House. So the Trafalgar Square down there. That's the one I showed you a minute ago at home. We want to get that White House too. Looks like it's probably a little bit bigger or wider. It may not fit in the detail. We have that. 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 We have all of these. We don't have the Statue of Liberty though. I don't know that I want that. Maybe. Uh, that's a little nicer. Some of the older architecture sets, the detail is pretty poor. Let's see what other Lego they're working with. Summer Brain Quest. Eternia Minis. I don't know if I've seen those before. Maybe I have. I don't know. Oh, Macho Man on clearance. See, that's because it's a basic. If it was an Elite figure, that figure would have sold well. With the little ring skirt thing. But nobody wants a basic. I mean, even now, is it worth $13 just to get the thing? No. See, Andre on sale too. No. If it goes down like six bucks, maybe. Megan Strucks Halo, 20% off. I think David got the sword. I don't see the sword here. He got the sword recently. Ninjago. Ninjago. Technic stuff. What's that thing? Build, code, and play. Huh. Oh, they have the flower bouquet. I may actually get that. That's interesting. There's that. Empire State Building. See ya. Those both look a lot better than previous versions have. They used to look so plain. They didn't have like the riveting. I have all of those. I have the Elf Clubhouse. We got that for Natalie. I got some good sets here. That flower bouquet is tempting because that's a really cool set. That's what I showed you on the table and that sells out at the Lego store frequently. Frequently. No bonsai tree though. I don't know, maybe. I don't know that we need another one. What's behind me? Nothing, nothing is behind me. Star Wars stuff, we have that. We have that, I don't have that. I don't know that I want. I kind of want that Sith TIE Fighter and that X-Wing. I want to get one of those. Oh, yeah, the Sesame Street. That's something I need to get at some point. I like that. I have that X-Wing. Oh, I think he's creepy. Look at those eyes. Kylo Ren's shuttle. I think I have all three of those helmets, actually. I don't know. I want that. Sesame Street. We have all this Harry Potter. All of it. Minecraft. The Mario stuff just isn't... I don't think it's very good. It just looks too kiddy. If you could build, like, really nice levels, I'd consider it. 
I have the Iron Man helmet. Let's see if any of this. I think this is Target exclusive. Thought about getting that for Kaya. She likes Black Widow, but until we see the movie, that's the one of the Hall of Armor. So actually, that's the Hall of Armor set. That's the Hulkbuster set that I showed you earlier. They don't have that expansion, I think, is a Walmart exclusive. Attack on Spider Layer is kind of cool. I just, all the Marvel sets are young. They're so young that they don't look as good. But that look, that one ended up looking a lot better than I thought it would. This side friend stuff. Anything else? Raya and Heart Palace. Cinderella's carriage. Townhouse Pet Shop and Cafe. Pirate Ship. Oh, look at that. A lion. All right. Let's go to the NECA Funko section. Okie dokie. There's not... Still not a lot of pops since Easter. Anything here? What if we would have walked up on the turtles in disguise? That would have been the greatest day. Instead, we get real big SpongeBob. Rhino Alien. Alpha Predator. Is this the naked one? Oh. Huh. That was kind of cool, actually. Mm, pretty cool. No disguise turtles. Look at all this. Plenty of available everything else NECA makes. But never the thing that I'm looking for. Alright. Anything else here, Billy Eyelash? No. Nothing that I am interested in. Maybe something here. I think that Joker's actually pretty good. Stanley. Whatever this is. Oh, this is clearance. Nerf Black Widow Blaster. 13 bucks. Any of this worthwhile? Twinkle? Tinkle? Okie doke. I'm gonna say it's a big no. It's a big no for me. What about this? Nah, nah, no way. Nothing I'm gonna buy. The flower bouquet is tempting because that is always sold out, but no. Now I gotta flee. You know how, like, when you're in Best Buy or Target, sometimes Walmart, and they have the person like trying to sell you cable from Comcast, just walking around? They wonder why? Why do you have that, Target? Like, I wanna spend money with you, not Comcast, ever. I never wanna spend money with Comcast. But he was like, following me. It was like he wanted to be in the video. So, uh, I gotta get out of here before he tries to get me with the Xfinity package. Oh, package. Uh, I gotta go back home, go back to work. And uh, at some point today, we'll do something else. Find out next clip. Touch it. Real quick, we're back home. Show you some of the pictures that we printed out. We got some of our Valentine's Day pictures, Easter pictures. I'm gonna take this little one and kind of put it in the car. And just some other fun pictures, playing board games. That's when we're playing D&D. &D. It's Valentine's Day. And then I put this one in the picture frame uh, since I got Kaya this Lego picture frame for Easter. And that's where we went and got uh, ice cream recently at the uh, uh, whatever, liquid nitrogen ice cream place. So we'll put this in our room. Hopefully she'll like it. I did have some things come in. Uh, like I talked about earlier, my Birds of Prey steel book. So that puts me up to date on all the Marvel and DC steel books I'm looking for, except for that Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman. And then some uh, battery powered tools. Now that springtime's here, I uh, need some gardening tools. So this company, Greenworks, this is the battery it uses, 40 volt and a charger. Uh, we have the lawnmower from them, which is great. So it's a blower, uh, like an edger, a trimmer, and chainsaw is what that is. Uh, so uh, pretty simple, easy to use, uh, just like using power drills and things like that. Uh, in fact, let me, I can show you that lawnmower out here in the garage. Turn the light, let's see if we can get a little brighter. There we go, let me help. See, we get over here, my our workout area. It just lives back here behind the, the dumpster. There you see the lawnmower that we use. Bunch of ghost stuff. But uh, yeah, it works good. It's time for me to get back to work though. So uh, we'll catch up in a little while. Party people! It is not later, yesterday. It's now tomorrow. It's Tuesday, no longer Monday. Uh, when uh, we got done with work and 
some various other things. Um, we just ran out of time and uh, didn't get to open anything yesterday. But I promise you we'd open some toys. So here I am. Uh, it is lunch break on Tuesday. I am sitting here at the table with toys in front of me. And let's open some things up. We'll start with the Wrestlers. Um, this is Wave 4, I think, of AEW Series 4. Yeah, and I only have five of them sitting here in front of me because we're going to South Carolina Comic Con on Saturday with David, hopefully, and Sammy Guevara is going to be there. So I have his figure also from this wave, Series 4, and I'm thinking about getting him to sign it there. I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to do. Um, Darby Allen will also be there, but I've already opened the Darby Allen figure, uh, and I actually found one and give it to Seth. Uh, a few weeks ago as well, so I don't know that I'm going to find another one. If I can find a Darby or they have one for sale at the con, I might get both of those signed, a Darby signed and a Sammy Guevara. Um, but nonetheless, I'm not going to open the Sammy because there's no way I'm finding that in store shelves yet because I think these have only come to ringside collectibles so far. So we won't open him, but we'll open these other five first. So we will start with Santana and Ortiz, which both of these look really good. Uh, we'll start with Santana. See if you can see that there. I do not have scissors with me, but I do have a flathead screwdriver. Let's see how that works. Uh, the AEW uh, figures I like very much of Jazzwear stuff. What I don't like is the boxes are just, you just destroy them when you open them. There is no uh, keep it collector friendly uh, later. There's, at least to my understanding, you haven't found a way to be able to put things back in the box. I don't keep my boxes anyway for figures like this, but you see, once you get it even ripped all this open, it's uh, glued to the back. So you basically gotta destroy the box to get it open. So we've got, I think this is the Puerto Rican fly. Is that right? Does that sound right? Uh, I think that's right. If it's not, I apologize. Uh, so they've got soft goods. Maybe if I can get it out. If I can get it out. Soft goods flag in here, I believe. Oh, it's on like a piece of paper. Uh, which that's actually pretty nice, to be honest with you. <coughs> and let's see. See if that's any good there. Show it to you. So he's got this. Uh, I don't even remember what he holds. Is this a sock? I don't remember what this, this looks like a sock with like um I can't hit it to beat somebody with. I don't remember if that's what he uses or not. Two extra hands, extra portrait, and the figure. The good thing is that their figures are really easy to unbox once you get to the clamshell. No zip ties or anything like that. Uh, they do put plastic a lot of the time on their body parts, the same way import figures do, which I appreciate. Uh, similar to SH Figure Arts, um, because then you don't get paint rubbing. So often on the, the legs and the torso, um, sometimes on the arms, hands, it depends. Uh, so he had it on both legs and the torso. Right now I'm just touching my man's belly, trying to get plastic off of it. Just, just, just touching him all in his belly button, feeling it. All right, there we go. No more plastic. I think I dropped some on the floor. It's gonna take me a whole nother six months to find it like what happened from the fire sale when we were finding plastic to the end of time. So, here we go. He's got like his overalls. That's cool. Uh, this head sculpt has like the eye patch maybe, or is it a flag going over his head? I don't know. I kind of like the alternate portrait, I believe. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I've dropped it into my package area. We're gonna do that. See if we can get it on. If you haven't encountered the AEW, the Jazz Wars figures, they really are quite good. Um, some of the issues with Wave 1, people don't like the skin tone, some of that stuff, they've gotten a lot better. I think their likenesses are good. Uh, so his fingers are like, I wonder if they're to hold the flag, because it's like, uh, grippy triggers but there's no hole in the hands like you couldn't put a gun through it is it for this thing maybe no i don't know what the sock is for i guess to beat people with so and then maybe they're specifically so you can drape uh the flag around him and have him holding it with those hands 
I don't know. Something like that. I think I'll have him hold the sock apparatus. No, that ain't for that. That's too... That is not... That is too loose. You can put the sock in his hand the regular way. I don't know. We'll come back to that. When I figure out how to display him, I'll show you. So then let's open Ortiz. Uh, he's in his inner circle shirt. And I think with uh, once we get to Series 6, because it has uh, Jake Hager in it, all of the inner circle will be complete. I believe that will be the first proper kind of stable to be complete. Um, so I guess all the elite have been complete, but they're not really wrestling much as the elite in AEW. So, Ortiz... Also has uh, like a yelling face sculpt. He's got the big like afro face sculpt and the flip flop, the thong sandal. You know we gotta display him with the flip flop. I've been waiting to open these for a while too. I've had them for a, for a period of time, waiting to do it on camera. But then we were in a castle. I think I've had them since even before that maybe. I cannot get that out. He's got a hand with a glove on it with the flag. A hand with a black glove. Get him out. He's got a flip flop. This other head is being challenging. Come on out of there. Get your own out of here. There we go. That's one head sculpt. I'll show you close up on these later. Get his plastic off. He also had plastic on his legs and his tummy tummy. No plastic on the bottom, though. No plastic on the bottom. Maybe I could just take it. Oh, maybe that's the way to do it. Just take off the torso. Hopefully it's easy to put back in. Very easy. And there he goes. With his inner circle shirt. Again, I'll show you a better close-up once I get them all open. Hopefully this hand can hold it. I think it can hold the flip-flop. I think it can hold it. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let me uh, clear this off, and we'll go to the next ones. On and on we go to Cody. And this is what? The fourth Cody figure. I only have one. No, it's the fifth Cody figure. I have two. I have the blood and guts, whatever, the bloodied one. I have the regular one. Uh, actually, maybe more than that, because I think there's a Chase Cody. Uh, there's the Cody that comes with the UK ring. There's the TNT Cody. Is that five or six? One, two, three. Chase Cody, four. Blood and Guts Cody. Or UK Ring Cody, five. Five or six. TNT Champion, six. That's a lot. Six out of like the first 35 figures. That's a bit much. You understand why. I mean, for, for AEW, figures like Cody or the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, that's Spider-Man, Iron Man, Batman of this figure line and how many times do we get spider-man batman iron man i mean the what the, the most recently announced marvel legends wave is all different iron mans basically so it's what happens in figure lines a because you need to the companies need to reuse molds that's how they become profitable they got to reuse stuff over and over again um but b uh, all the time there's new people in the line and they need to be able to get the new figures uh, of the main characters. That's just an important part of toy collecting. Um, we that collect all of them, maybe are completionist or have been comp uh, collecting since the beginning of the line, are like, oh, I already have this many Cody's. But there's a whole bunch of people who have no Cody's because they haven't been able to find one or they're just starting the line. They just got into wrestling, AEW, whatever. Here he is. He's got a laughing face and like a smirk. Soft Goods uh, Thronebreaker shirt. I don't think it comes with anything else. Nope. A lot of money probably in the uh, deco here. And that, the likeness is good. Uh, so it doesn't bother me. I mean, like, I wish we got, you know, more characters quicker and things like that. But I understand it's a business and it's, yeah, let's be real. If every toy company only did what the things that collectors say, they want them to do, all these companies will go out of business. That's just what would happen. That It would not be a successful business model. Uh, because we can say all, all we want to, that, oh, well, if they were, if uh, 
if they would release this niche character that we're missing to complete a team, sure, the 50,000 of us that collect that might buy it, but they're trying to sell 200,000 of it. They're trying to get grandma to buy it. They're trying to get mom to buy it. And mom doesn't know that niche character, but she does know Spider-Man. It's just the way it is. So, you know, the lines like Super 7 that do the made to order, that's where you're going to find the more unique niche things. Um... You know, it's one of the challenges of NECA that people want to complain about is the main characters, the turtles, don't get made enough of. And so people want to complain to NECA and say, well, why are you doing Muck Man? Or why are you doing uh, the Rock Soldiers when I can't get the turtles because I started this line a year later? This is specifically what companies are trying to avoid. And, um, you know, people want to also get mad at NECA for the same thing they don't get mad at other companies for. So it's... It seems the collecting community is pretty fickle as it is. So don't be like that. Don't be like that. You got to understand the ec economics of it. And it doesn't mean you have to like it, but it's just the reality of it. Here he is. He's got his weight belt also. Won't back down. It's pretty nice. This is a nice figure. This is nicer than the other one. Yeah, way nicer than the other one. Throw a breaker shirt. I'll give it a close up. But that's a little economics lesson from Dub, right? Like, you can't be mad at Marvel Legends because they make too many Iron Man figures and in the same breath also be mad at NECA because they haven't released enough of the main turtles. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Uh, next figure, Kenny Omega. Uh, been quite a few Kenny Omegas as well. I only have one though, but I think there, maybe was there a chase? I don't remember. Uh, and if you've been struggling to get these AEW figures, just pre-order them from Ringside Collectibles if you want them. It's really easy. Uh, I, if you pre-order them right when they go live, I, you pay $22 a figure or something like that. I mean, sure, you might save six, eight bucks total if you walk on up, up on them on a Walmart. But how many times are you going to go to that Walmart looking for them? How much frustration? Some people like to go to Walmart 97 times a week and look for a thing. I do not. I would just rather know that I'm going to get it because I collect the line. And so I know I want it when it goes up for order. So like... Series 6 hasn't gone up for pre-order yet, I don't think. Uh, but Series 5, that has uh, Jurassic Express, that has Luchasaurus. I pre-ordered it right away. I don't need to wait to see if I want it. Kenny Omega, uh, a lot of... Oh, he's got like the, the angel wing, the one wing and angel coat on. That's cool. Uh, these are really nice. Good deco on him. He just has two hands. So I think a lot of money on the Cody and the Kenny must have been spent on the, the Deco. The hair is much nicer. That's that's great. That's a really good figure. And last but not least, the one I am the most excited for, Broken Matt Hardy. I am very excited to have this figure. I never got the WWE version that had the drone and all of that. I missed it. And... Uh, then when he came to AEW, I was hopeful they would make this, and they have. Now, I think there is a Chase version of this. Oh, that's awesome. It has Vanguard 1. It has his drone. So, even if you don't collect wrestling figures, this is uh, like a DJI Phantom Phantom Pro, I think, is this. Uh, this is a cool accessory to have. Of course, it is in a thing that I would need scissors for, and I do not have scissors. That is going to be a frustration. He also has the uh, hologram version of himself. Uh, that's great. And I think that will plug into the head sculpt, actually, which is crazy. Uh, this is going to be a problem. Going to have to go get scissors. Maybe I can bite it. Maybe I can bite it. No, we're going to go get scissors. Let's take the rest of this out first. Uh, so he has one, two, three, four um, extra hands on him. That head sculpt is wonderful. He's got his big cloak on. Oh, he's got plastic on his arms and then underneath as well. He comes with a lot then. So if you subscribe to the the mechanism that companies get X amount of dollars for a whole wave of figures, looks like a lot of money was probably spent on the Matt Hardy from the budget because there's a lot going on with this figure. And he can do the delete. He's got the delete hand, which is great. Oh, this coat comes off nicely. Oh, plastic on the legs. Plastic on the tummy tum. Here I go again. Put my finger in this man's belly button. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. I think I got it all. 
How hard is it to button that thing back up? I don't think it's gonna be that hard. Well, that's nice, that's a nice uh, kind of plastic goods coat. Much nicer than the WWE ones. There's Matt Hardy. Let me get scissors, clean this up, and I'll take the camera and show you a close up of all these guys. I have retrieved scissors. I also grabbed the Sammy, Sammy Guevara figure, so you can see close up on his head sculpt. Uh, all the cards are the same in this. I think they're doing a running change. They forgot to change what was underneath, but that's the one I'm gonna get signed. Let me take you through, show you Santana and Ortiz. You can see, maybe I need to do this like this. That sculpt's pretty nice. It's cool. My man. He looks good. These are really nice. I saw the thing where they were uh, learning they got the figures made of them. That's really cool to see some of these guys who have never had the chance to have this before. There's a Kenny Omega. I think he's outstanding. Outstanding. You see the, the wing on the back. Here is the Cody. Throne breaker shirt. And Matt Hardy, definitely my favorite. And you see underneath, he's got the wrestling attire on. And let me show you the drone and guard one, which is nice. And the hologram, holographic head, which is articulated. So you could definitely take that head off and, and put it on a figure, but then it can also peg in here, I think. Should peg in, yep, peg in just like that. Which is uh, just great, it's great. Okay, two more things I wanna open uh, in this video. We've got the Super 7 Classic Chrome Voltron, and we've got the big NECA quarter scale cartoon Raphael that I have no idea where I'm gonna put him. He's probably just gonna live on the floor, to be honest with you. Maybe on one of these stools. Uh, Super 7, as you all know, I've become a big fan of. I've got the Thundercats and the Turtles. Um, and then I have a He-Man and Skeletor, and I have both of the Toxic Crusaders and a Prince Adam. So I have uh, quite a few, actually, Super 7. And I really like the Ultimates line. I've got the Good Brothers pre-ordered. I've got the um, Matt Cardona. Um, Brian Myers pre-ordered the Thunder Tank. I have pre-ordered where I'm going to put that. I don't know if I have to use that as my actual vehicle. Um, so I've, I've been uh, and really enjoying what they're doing with the Ultimates line, especially the Turtles. I love a lot. So they did release a regular version of Voltron that I got for my brother-in-law, Mike, for Christmas. Um, and then this is the Chrome Ultimates version. So if you've not seen a Super 7 Ultimates, their boxes are excellent. They've got an art box, kind of like Hot Toys six scale figures do. Uh, that's just really nice. It's a slip cover, you slide it off, and then you can see the figure. Uh, and this nice shiny chrome. Voltron, Defenders of the Universe from days long ago, from the uncharted regions of the universe comes the legend of the universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. I said universe like seven times. Uh, it's basically what it says at the beginning of that show. It's Voltron's legend grew. Peace settled across the galaxy. I think it's identical to what it said uh, on the show, I believe. There you can see the back of it. Uh, boy, the chrome is shiny, and that paint looks good. So if you collect Super 7 in box, they display wonderfully. Wonderfully. So the Turtles, I've actually bought all of them. One to open, one to keep in box. I, I, I have not done that since I collected Vintage Turtles many years ago, that collection that I sold where I had one of each. Um, and that's the only line I do it for, is the Super 7 Ninja Turtle stuff. So everything they've released, uh, the Glow in the Dark Baxter, um, and then the, the, the re-releases with the updated deco on just the weapons rack, I have two of each, which is ridiculous. Uh, and that re-release, I didn't even open any because they were identical to the ones I have up there. So I just have, I have so many in the attic. But let's open up this Voltron Super 7. Uh, but that's, you know, a lot of people, because you're not going to walk up on a Super 7 Ultimate figure in a uh, 
in a store unless it's some sort of specialty store, but you're not going to walk up on it in your normal stores that most of us encounter, GameStop, Walmart, Target. People have never seen their packaging before. It's very, very nice. And I think this figure is of interest because they have the Super 7 Transformers Ultimates line that are up for pre-order now. Or that pre-order may have ended, but soon to be ended if it hasn't already. And it's the same articulation scheme as this. So even there, you see inside, nice backdrop art. I do keep these boxes because they're so nice. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit of tape. Uh, and I, I don't remember what is different about this other than I know the chrome is unique to this figure from the original one. But I don't know if anything else is. I think, I think maybe a weapon set is. So you've got his regular blazing sword, regular kind of traditional color. That looks like it may glow in the dark. I wonder if it does. That's cool. I will almost assuredly be using this chrome that's in the front. Uh, so we've got a, wow, this feels heavy. Kind of a, I don't remember, um, what is that term for the metal from the 80s toys? It's not vaporized, vacuumized, something like that, uh, that Silverhawks had to make it look like. But that is a shiny, shiny chrome sword. I like that. Maybe, I, I don't know. Will I use the chrome one or the glow in the dark one? I don't know what to do. Uh, then you've got alternate hands with the open lion mouth for the red and green lion for the hands. I can't remember what that name is. Vac no, it ain't vaccinated. That's a different one. I have to look it up. I don't remember. And he just looks like he has two simple twist ties behind him. I'm tired of twist ties. I appreciate in the AEW figures that there's no twist ties to undo. Um, but I understand, especially for things like this that display in the package. Companies want you to make sure that the thing stays in place as best as it can. I understand. So, get that twist tie out of there. And there is Voltron. He's heavy. Got a little girth to him. A little girth. We get that shield. Oh, is that shield? Oh, the shield does have a twist tie on the corner of it. Now as well. I just poked myself in the thumb with the twist tie. That ain't what you're trying to do. No punishment. No punishment. Rubbing it. So the shield is also, if I can get it out, which apparently I cannot. I don't want to scuff it up. Frustrating. Also chrome. Very nice, very nice chrome. Uh, if you remember right when the Turtles, the NECA Turtles Target two pack came out, the original ones, there were so many twist ties on that set of stuff. It took like an hour for each one to get off and they were the hard like, almost like metal twist tie that was very difficult to get out. I remember unboxing those and it was just doom. It just took forever. Let me show you the figure. You're tired of hearing me talk. There he is. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Bright colors. Bright, really nice colors. I really, really like him. Um, so I have to decide to use the chrome or to use the glow in the dark. I don't know. Let me get him posed up. I'll show you close up. Okay, here is a close up on Voltron. You can see just that paint is wonderful. On him. Look at that butt. Ooh, shake it. I'm not going to go through articulation. Uh, plenty of people reviewed this. I think Toy Bro did a recent review um, to see if it's got articulation you're interested in. I just love the way it looks. Uh, vac metal. That's a term I was looking for. You see the vac metal. Man, that is so shiny. Blazing sword and the shield. And then the glow in the dark blazing sword, which I think was a bonus to this figure. I don't know what to use. Maybe I'll use the Vac Metal Shield and the Blazing Sword. Maybe that's what I'll use. But there is the Super 7 Ultimates Voltron. Now let's open up uh, Big Raph. Remember I had a, a Big Raph package? I guess this is a Big Raphael package part two. Here we go, part two of the Big Raphael package. Part one was that pop culture shock Raphael. So I was not going to get these NECA quarter scale. Turtles. 
I have the movie ones. I have the movie Shredder. I have the movie Foot Soldier. I have the movie Raphael in Disguise. They're in the arcade. They take up a lot of space. I do not know what just fell. They take up a lot of space. These quarter scale turtles, while they are amazing, they are not easy to display. And so when they announced the tune ones, I'm like, okay, no, I don't need them. I got the movie ones. I got the movie ones because that was the only NECA TMNT stuff you could get regular. That was back in the day, you know, 15, 16, when all the NECA stuff was Comic-Con. You couldn't get it. So I got the movie ones. But then I saw this thing, saw reviews of this thing, and I had to have it. And then they put Donatello up for pre-order. Oh, of course, I've pre-ordered that What fell here. Anything? I don't know what was falling. One of the fists must be loose, yeah. And the it's just, the NECA sculpts and paintwork is already so good. Now, they have a number of quality control stuff that's frustrating, and their joints aren't great, and they're hard to pose sometimes. But the sculpts and the paint are so good. And when they bring things up to quarter scale, it's just out of this world. Good. I mean, just look at this. Look at it. It is just remarkable. Remarkable. I mean, it looks like the cartoon has come alive right here in front of me. I just think it's 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 so good. Uh, this thing is going to be a pain in the buttocks to get everything out of, I believe. Yeah, every single thing has got a zip tie. It's going to be one of those, uh, like I just mentioned, when we had to open the zip tie from the, the first Target exclusives. Uh, it's gonna be a big pain in the butt. So uh, let me cut the video because you don't want to watch me yell various forms of terms for poo poo at this thing. And uh, once I get them open, we'll look closer at it. After a period of time later and 746 zip ties, we have Raphael free from his cage. And he is just amazing. He's amazing. And I'll tell you, I guess a, a factor I hadn't considered is he is smaller than his quarter scale buddy. And as I look right here that you can't see, I, I forgot that the Toon Turtles are a good bit smaller than the movie Turtles. Uh, so for scale purposes, he's a lot smaller. We will... Um, I'll put them over there and show you compared to the movie quarter scale. But I, I did, as I opened him up, he will stand in a detail. Now, his head's probably about that far from the ceiling, maybe half of an inch. But he will fit in a detail. So if you're going to collect these, maybe not as hard to display as I thought. Uh, so here he is. There's Raphael. Look at Raphael's buttocks. Look at that butt. Ooh, snap, crackle butt. Woo. Uh, but you know what to expect here. I mean, man, the paint is really good. He looks great. He has the alternate portrait, which is like the rawr, like he's upset kind of face. He stands pretty good. Uh, I have the movie ones sometimes have trouble standing. I actually have them all in stands. He's got a pointy finger, a thumbs up finger. Uh, the other hand, pointy finger. He's got his size. You know what to expect if you have a, a turtle. He's got two slices of pizza. The other thumbs up finger, his communicator that's closed, and the pizza that goes on his side. Pretty much the normal uh, things that come with the Toon Raphael. I think that's probably the accessories that come with the regular one. Uh, so he is just fantastic. Uh, snap, crackle, butt. Yeah, that's what happened. Uh, and that was just the joint popping. They're just ratchet joints. I think he looks great. I'm glad I got him. Uh, I think he's going to be pretty expensive to get uh, once they sell out. Um, and then Donatello's next. And, and who knows if they're going to make the whole line or just the Turtles. or uh, I mean, a Bebop and Rocksteady would be great in this. So I'm collecting the Quarter Scale Pop Culture Shock statues. I'll compare them to that, too. Um, let, me, let me take the camera down. We'll walk around and show you a few different things with this Raphael. So to start with, there he is. You see him in a detolf. You see how much space is there between him and the ceiling just in a... This is just the pose that he came out of the box in. So he will fit in a detolf. That's good to know. Uh, let me put him down for a moment. You see, you can even just see right there, a movie turtle there versus a, a tune. And you see the size discrepancies. 
which I, I guess I just hadn't factored in. I put Voltron down here where I've got some of my other Super 7 stuff and just that's my shelf of miscellaneous. Uh, he kind of fits in there with the Masters of the Universe Toxic Crusaders because while he's a childhood reminiscent thing, Leonardo, what are you doing back here, buddy? He is not uh, Super 7 Turtles or Thundercats, which live here. Uh, the AEW figures, we've got them in place. There's the Cody. There's the Kenny. I got the Matt Hardy here. And then Santana and Ortiz over there with the Jericho. So there is the quarter scale pop culture shock statue, which I love. And it's, those are very expensive statues. I wonder how... Oh, so he's certainly... Well, they're very... Eh, he's a little bit bigger than what they'd say. But I tell you what, for... A quarter of the price, this is a great piece. I mean, I love those statues, but NECA just, I mean, they have killed it with this guy. They have killed it. Let me go in the arcade and show you him compared to the movie version. In the arcade, there is his his uh, cousin in the trench coat, Shredder and all that. Some of the other things we got up here that I haven't shown in a while. Video game stuff, Tweeterhead statues. But then here are the movie versions. And yeah, you can see he's probably 20% shorter. I mean, he's a couple inches shorter than those guys. Uh, so well, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. Those still look so good. Some of the greatest pieces. There's Raphael. He's just going to be down there in the corner right now. I'm not going to open these completely on camera, but I want to open this Elrond, Faramir, this Ron Weasley, and Thorin Oakenshield. These are all... Asmus, that's Star Ace. Uh, so I'm going to get them open and I'll do a quick overview and show you what all they come with uh, so that you can see these six skill figures because I need to get them up, get them on their shelves in their homes, but I don't have enough time left on this lunch break to do a formalized open, so I got to go fast. Table full of figures. Ronald Weasley, the Star Ace six scale Ronald Weasley. This is the deluxe version, so it has him in his school uniform as well as if you want to change his clothes into his casual uniform. I will probably never do that, but it's nice to have the option. Uh, or if I got a second uh, body, I could put all that on it and find some other head sculpt. But I think he looks good. I have, I need a Ron, I have a Ron now, and I need a Hermione. Uh, I like all the the robes and such. See the Stan, Scabbers, the spot. this is the spider, right? Is that what that is? Uh, I don't remember. And his wand. So that's good. Then the rest of these are Asmus. That's Star Ace. So Thorin, who is just really, really nice. Uh, from The Hobbit. Obviously he's shorter because he is a dwarf. You see his head sculpt. The real fur on his boots, on his coat. There you see his hair. He looks great. The armor is kind of hard. Uh, he has the key. Uh, to Lonely Mountain, a pipe. He's got his like wooden shield on his arm. He's got this dwarven sword. And then he's got Orchrist, the Goblin Cleaver. And if you don't know, these are like die cast metal, the weapons that you get uh, with, with the uh, Lord of the Rings figures and the Hobbit figures. Uh, and I really, really like them from Asmus. Here's Faramir. You see, face sculpt. Uh, he has this nice, really soft, like I'd like a shirt of this, elven cloak, then another cloak. He's got a great big sword as well, uh, arrows, uh, but no bow, interestingly enough. Uh, so he has the arrows and his sword, and then you see Elrond. Uh, he has his sword there. Uh, Elrond doesn't come with as much uh, as the others do, but he does have like a, like a mithril armor. I think that face sculpt looks nice. Uh, and just all around, uh, the braids and the hair, just really, really high quality. Um, I, I really, really love this line. The, uh, the Lord of the Rings, uh, the Game of Thrones, the Walking Dead, and the Harry Potter lines. I just, those are the six scale I collect. And you see, I still have quite a number of six scale figures in my collection. I'm probably somewhere around 100, and I still, of course, have some hot toys in certain areas. Uh, all around. But there you go. There's a good look. Uh, I know these are lines that are more niche and some people don't get to see, but there you go. You can see the quality of them. Um, I am going to show you one more figure and I'm going to get these into their homes. So let me show you that. These aren't necessarily their final homes, but I wanted to go ahead and show you them in there. There's Ron. Got him with his wand and his creatures. 
there with Harry and with Snape. And I've got a lot of rearranging to do, but I'll let Natalie and Kaya try to figure that out. Put Faramir here for the time being. Got his, his big old sword on him. I didn't put either cloak. I like the armor that he has, so I left him like that. I put Elrond and Thor in there. Again, not their final home, just where they'll be. I have so much trouble not using these die-cast swords. I just love them. And Elrond looks great. I've got Thorin with Orcrist and with his wooden shield. And uh, that's what we opened up. Those four. Now, let me show you this. So, an item that I'm not ready to completely open up and display yet, because I don't know where it's going to live. But this is the Asmus Crown Collection Gandalf figure, which I've had for about a month and just haven't opened yet. Uh, incredible packaging. The first layer was this. It had the Crown Series Authenticity card. You open that up, and you've got... Uh, the body and the hat and the head sculpt, which I'll show you last. Then the next layer has cloak, his bag, a bunch of hands, other things. And then the final layer has this diorama base. They know it admittance except on party business. So that base is going to be awesome. Uh, it's got glam drink. And these are all like the mailbox and the stuff for the base. Uh, and so recently there are figures like this Aragorn I have has this huge base. And then you see I've got the Legolas on a base down there. Uh, it makes it kind of hard to figure out where to put them. But the star of the show, and I think you might be able to buy this independently, is this head sculpt of Gandalf, which is just immaculate. Immaculate. Um, just incredible. Oh, head sculpt overboard as I damage it. Look at that. That is really nice. Really, really nice. So I think this is a, uh, a version of a reissue of that Gandalf. But you can see this is way, way nicer. Way nicer. And I'm really excited. Again, I just have to find a place with this great big base to put it, which I am not ready to do yet. But I did want to show you, and I do have the Galadriel that recently released. I'm also not ready to do anything with that in this episode. I gotta get back to work though. So that's gonna wrap up this episode of Dub Life. Hope you enjoyed just a mini hunt. Showed you around the Lego, showed you around the toy room a little bit and opened up some toys. Uh, none of the ladies, unfortunately, uh, in this episode, but it's been during the work day, school day, and I've been trying to do these on lunch breaks. Uh, but next episode, we'll have uh, Kaya, Natalie, and David as we're going to South Carolina Con. Hopefully, that's our plan for Saturday. We'll find out together if we do it. Until then! Squeeze, like a Funko section. Squeeze it. <laughs>